Right, so today we have the Moto Speed CK82 uh, gaming keyboard with mechanical switches. And this keyboard, this particular one, comes with blue switches. Okay. Now I have a, another keyboard here. This one is an HS K670T, which is a wireless keyboard, but it's also a uh, blue switch. So I just have this here just so we can, you know, listen to uh, two different types of blue switches, and you know, you can get a sense of how it sounds. Um, I also have a the bigger brother HS K860T here, which is a red switch. So we'll listen to all of these so you get a sense of uh, what these keyboards sound like, what's right for you. Now let's talk about this keyboard. So unlike some of the other keyboards, um, it does not have a detachable USB. So this USB cable is fixed. I kind of like it having it detachable, uh, especially if you're gonna throw it into your book bag and bring it with you. You don't have to worry about this um, getting strained. The construction is, you know, it looks really nice, but it's still primarily plastic, so it feels, you know, uh, if you actually pick it up, you know, the casing itself feels a little cheap, but uh, it still looks fantastic. The lighting is great, um, and it still looks pretty good, right? Now, you can toggle the lighting by using the FN key and then hitting the different modes you have here, um, and you can see you have quite a bit of options for toggling the lighting. Um, and then you can toggle the brightness and the direction of the lighting uh, by using the arrow keys here, okay? Now, you can, you know, obviously you heard it as, as I was typing, um, as I was uh, toggling the lighting modes, it's quite, uh, you know, the blue switches are quite clickety-clackety, and while they're really satisfying to type on, you know, if, you, if you're not familiar with blue switches. Um, they can be quite distracting in an office setting or even in your own home if you have other people on conference calls, right? So, you know, something to think about is you might want to avoid this keyboard and the blue switches if you don't want to hear it in the background or if you're in an office setting working with other people. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a typing test so you can hear what this sounds like I'm gonna do it on the HAS as well, so you can hear it on a different blue switch, and then do it on this other HAS up here, which is a totally different key. So here's a typing test on this blue switch. Okay, so yeah, it's it's quite, you know, quite quite loud uh, when you're typing on it, but it also sounds very satisfying. I'm gonna press just one key so you can kind of hear it, the distinctive uh, blue switch, right? So the key already activates before you before you hit the click, um, but that click just uh, tells you gives you an audible signal that you've activated the key. Now, let's listen to the A-Jazz. Again, this is also a blue switch, but I think you'll be able to hear the difference. Okay, so yeah, and this this is a, both of these are blue switches, but this is a much more muted blue switch. Uh, my personal preference, I like this blue switch a little bit better on the HS than I do on the Moto Speed. Um, just for reference, we'll do another keyboard here. This is a red switch. So let's reset. Okay. So obviously, um, if you're working in an office environment, if you have other people working in the same space as you, uh, on conference calls, you know, 
this don't get a blue switch, right? If you get this blue switch, it's really satisfying to type on, but you know, it's going to wake your neighbors <laughs> um, and annoy the other people that are working in your environment. Okay. Uh, overall, this this Moto Speed keyboard, in my opinion, is uh, it's a it's a pretty good keyboard. It's a nice option. You know, like I said before, construction feels a little bit cheap. Um, but it still really looks really nice on your desk, and uh, you know it's a it's a really satisfying keyboard to type on. Um, just again, be cognizant when you pick a blue switch, right?